So that's the gist of it. We really are just hoping to establish a presence in the community and really focus on getting those young people off those street corners and getting them into legitimate jobs and careers. Oh, I was just wondering, is your church going to be funding the initial sponsorship of this program? Yes, they are. So I'm assuming there's opportunity and you're planning to get some of these young people to start serving in the church. Oh, absolutely. I've been the head elder at our church for over 25 years. And I've seen way too many young people walk out those doors and never return. Why do you suppose that is? I find that young people in this day and time to not have a sense of respect for authority, the church, and most importantly, God. I feel that they are so caught up in what they see on TV, they disregard everything else. Well, what is it that you do to be able to help lead them back to the church? Well, this nonprofit we're starting now, we hope is a step in that direction. But if I can be frank with you all here, I don't really think that's going to work either. You have to want to be in church. You have to want a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. No church, no program, no person can make a person want to be in church. They have to want it for themselves. But isn't that the church's job? It's to be able to help show them that God loves them and to be able to welcome them, welcome everyone into church so they can you know, experience the love that God has for them. Ms. Walker, I've been an elder for over two decades. Over the years, I've tried to show as much love to the young people that have walked through those doors that I could possibly show them. Some have accepted it, but most just decided to leave. And there's nothing I can do about that. See, that's your problem. Seems like the love you have has a cap on it. You know what, um, Nick, why don't you step out and get Mr. Harrington a cup of coffee? You'd like some coffee, Mr. Harrington? Sure. No, sir. I won't. I think he needs to hear it. No, and I think that you need to step out the room and you need to step out now. That's what I think. No, Mr. Chamberlain. I'd like to hear what he has to say. <clears throat> okay. Well, Mr. Harrington, um, I spent the last few days with, with this woman right here, Lindsay, Lindsay Walker, and uh, we're just so opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, total opposites, polar opposites. There's so many differences, we can go on and on and on and on, but I realized that, you know, spending time together, those are the things that help build relationships. She met some of my family, I met some of hers. Um, just the time we spent together really helped us to, to build relationships. And those are the things you need to help build relationships in those young people. But it's not what you do, is it? And to be honest with you, sir, all those young people that are leaving the church, it's because of people like you. You know what, that's enough. You, you are not gonna disrespect our clients. That's not gonna happen, you hear me? Your client disrespected me, sir. What are you talking about? You don't remember me, do you? Me and my mother used to attend your church when I was younger. Janique? Wow, I haven't seen you since... Since what? Since, since middle school, right? I know, I remember. I remember because I remember standing in front of that church one day. And right before that, I spent all night practicing and practicing and practicing so that when I stood up there, I could worship God. And I remember getting up in front of that church and I remember starting my rap. And I rapped my butt off for that church. And I tried my hardest and I was just praising God. And I remember you stopping everything and cutting everything off to tell the congregation, hey, I apologize because, sorry, 
Young people these days, they just don't know how to worship God. You left the church because I wouldn't let you rest. I left the church because you wouldn't let me serve, sir. Nick, you have it all wrong, my friend. I loved you the same as I loved all the young people in that church. Then love different. How about that? Love different, sir. Because not everybody's the same. Some people are different. I have a wife and uh, this woman here helped me understand some things that sometimes you have to look at the person and figure out what kind of love they need. And my wife, she's the type of person that she just needs more time spent with. That's it, just some more time. Some people, uh, they need to be loved with more discipline. Fact is, you need to take time to just love people the way that they need to be loved. Mr. Harrington, if you wanna love these young people, when you get out there and you start your business, if you wanna love these young people, love them different. Uh, Lindsay, I think you're right. About what? I think I do miss God. I miss God. Nick. I miss him so much. Nick. <laughs> I miss him so much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, son. I agree with you, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.